Hello, my name is Emilia from Ziki Wave, and in today's video I will show you what is correlation, where we use it and when we need it. ZikiOps is a no-code integration platform that helps you integrate monitoring, ITSM, DevOps, CRM and other systems. Integrations are based on correlations between different objects within the systems. In the scope of ZikiOps, this would be the relation between two or more data objects like tickets, events, metrics and so on. Why and when we need to use correlation? Whenever we want to link two objects in a system or in different systems and keep them updated, after the initial relationship is established, if something changes in any of the data objects, this change will be synchronized with the related data object. An example of such relationship can be service desk ticketing, where we can have an incident with multiple related tasks to it, and each task update will be refracted in the main incident record. And now, let's see how to configure and use correlation in ZigiOps UI. ZigiOps correlation is configured separately for each integration flow. This way, every integration can have different logics and rules for data relationships and updates. For each integration configuration, we have the correlation menu. There, we have access to the fields from both systems that are part of the data synchronization, and we can choose from three options. Store correlation information in System 1 only, in System 2 only, or in both systems, which is recommended. In all cases, the result will be the same. The related data objects will be synchronized when changes in either object occur. This is the field in the target system, or system 2, which will be used to store the unique identifier for the record from the source system, or system 1. This is the unique identifier property for record in the source system, or system 1. This is the field in the source system, or system 1, which will be used to store the unique identifier for the record from the target system or system 2. Correlation can be configured to be based on a combination of values from multiple fields. This is the unique identifier property for record in the target system or system 2. This is extra information reported to the source system by ZigiOps to make the target system record even more unique. And now, let's see how our settings are reflected in the corresponding systems. In this example, they are Jira and ServiceNow. After initial transfer has been completed successfully, any updates in System 1 or Ticket 22735 will be transferred to System 2, Ticket Demo 1777, and any updates from System 2 for Ticket Demo 1777 will be transferred to System 1, Ticket 22735. If you are looking to connect your systems, you can book a technical demo with our team and see live how the correlations you need can be set within minutes with ZigiOps. Thank you for watching and until next time!